Beaded Dresses Mystery. If you think it's fun to get caught red-handed by your lady-in-waiting, you can bet it isn't. Especially since Miss Stencil caught us with our foreheads pressed to the freezing bedroom floor. Who'd have thought Miss Stencil had heard us? We hadn't so much as made a peep when we slid off the bed. We hoped to find out about the clip-clopping outside our bedroom, but now we had more to worry about aside from the mystery of the pink shoes. Even though Belle and I were princesses, Miss Stencil has complete authority to discipline us. Our Queen Mother didn't have time to waste with ten and twelve-year-old girls like us. I cannot imagine, Miss Stencil began, what excuse you might have for disregarding my orders. Sleep time is sleep time. She pulled my arm and I followed her back to my massive four-poster bed. She pointed at the pillows and said, Shut your eyes now and tomorrow you both will face the music for your defiance. Belle timidly trudged closely behind me. Without another word, Miss Stencil spun on her heels and returned to her bed in the corner. No doubt she was livid. Belle and I lay very still under the goose-down blanket, and we must have dozed off, because before we knew it, Sarah, our maidservant, drew the drapes aside and the sunshine swept into my bedroom. I glanced at Miss Stencil's bed, but she was no longer there. Only her red Bible sat on her bed. Perhaps she was already building a case against us with Mother. At breakfast, Belle and I wolfed down our buttered and marmalade toasts. Breakfast didn't taste as delicious as it usually did. Even the fresh fruit lost its fragrance. We might as well have tasted stale bread. Neither of our ladies-in-waiting turned up, and Belle and I ate silently, awaiting the inevitable. When violin lessons, taught by Monsieur Montagne, started, Miss Stencil still hadn't turned up to deliver our punishment. Belle and I discussed the matter during our snack break before art lessons. Did you hear what Cook said this morning? Belle whispered. How come Belle always gets the juicy news? What? We're going to be boiled with the lobsters? Ha! <laughs> no, silly. I was hiding in the hallway and Sarah flagged Cook down to chat with her, but Cook waved her off. No time, she said. Cook complained that she was tired since she had to prepare more food with the many guests we've been having. Guests? Anything else? I asked. Belle clutched my arm. The cleaning maids complain about working to the bone. But who are these guests? I bet they're staying in those bedrooms down the hall from ours. She nodded vigorously, her eyes wide. She'd only returned to her room that morning to change and had not been back there today. If we ask too many questions, I said, we're going to be chopped liver, princess or no princess. I have never seen Miss Stencil so mad. She values her sleep and we interrupted her cycle. We'd better lie low. I have an idea. But before Belle could tell me more, our art teacher, Madame Bertha, with her folds of grey skirt, waltzed in. Why are the easels still in the corner? She spoke in that high-pitched tone of hers, as if someone was pinching her nose. Her eyes scanned the room, looking for the maidservant who helped in the class. Liliana hadn't turned up for classroom duty that day. This was odd. Belle and I rushed to lift the easels, but Madame Bertha screamed, Not for princesses to carry furniture! She stormed out of the classroom, just like that. Why is everyone so upset these days? Belle asked. I could tell she was afraid. Her lips quivered slightly. I shrugged. Two manservants breezed in and set up the easels, and everything went like clockwork. But at the end of class, Mother, the Queen of Chadwick, flowed into our classroom with her royal tiara gleaming and her flouncy brocade dress swishing when she walked. Her ladies lifted her train as she swayed in. Our mother was a beauty, even if she was our blood relation. No biases. The Adventure and Mystery continues in The Princesses of Chadwick Castle Adventure Book 3 The Lady with the Circlet Check out Book 3 and other Emma Wright book series on Amazon and other major retailers. <laughs>